The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, says to stem the tide of open defecation, Nigeria needs an estimated 11 million toilets nationwide, and the private sector must play a more active role in addressing the crisis. Addressing a high-level consultation meeting in Lagos, UNICEF's chief of WASH in Nigeria, Dr. Jean Bavan, disclosed that Nigeria remains one of the world's worst offenders for open defecation, having an estimated 48 million people lacking access to toilets. She highlighted the potential for private businesses to invest in public toilets, particularly in urban areas like Lagos, and to support small businesses involved in sanitation services. On her part, the chief of the UNICEF Lagos field office, Celine Lafourcade, urged the private sector to play a more significant role in addressing Nigeria's sanitation crisis. She described the sanitation sector as an economic driver which could contribute to the nation's GDP if well harnessed, as well as having the potential for creating jobs and empowering young people. The private sector can do a whole lot uh, that the government can't do and that the NGO and development sector can't do in terms of helping small businesses to really access loans, uh, for example, to build up toilet businesses. They can help to uh, build toilets themselves, but also public toilets, particularly in urban areas, are really needed uh, for places where people can't or don't have space to put them in their, uh, in their homes. So public toilets are often the only answer. And uh, there's so many different ways that the private sector could help. Uh, so we really encourage them to get involved in this venture. Also speaking, the representative of the National Economic Summit Group, NESG, Nyamanso Ikanem, pledged the group's support to improve sanitation in Nigeria, stressing the significant economic and social impacts of open defecation. On his part, the director in the Federal Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation, Elizabeth Ugo, admitted that despite efforts to promote open defecation-free status, only 126 local governments out of 774 have achieved this goal. Ugo emphasized the need for increased investment, improved infrastructure, and stronger partnerships to address the crisis. The private partnership uh, is... Uh is the way to go now. The government has recognized the need to engage the private sector to invest in public assets, building the public assets, but also operating and maintaining these assets. And so the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, through the WASH, that's Water and Sanitation um, Thematic Group, is supporting this process, which is being led by the UNICEF, uh, with the key uh, player being the Federal Ministry of uh, Water Resources and Sanitation. And the, the focus is to ensure that there is an opportunity for the private sector to invest in sanitation assets, meaning you can build the asset but also operate and maintain these assets over a long period of time. It's feasible because and it's something that is doable for me. If all hands are on deck and we are committed to seeing Nigeria being open defecation free. And that is why we talk about the collaboration and partnership. Now we are talking to the private sector. We also have our development partners that are partnering with us. And so we believe that with this partnership, if the private sector can come on board fully and then invest in the sanitation sector, as I said, that as relates to WASH, we will be able to have Nigeria pulled out of open defecation and then having an open defecation free status as a nation. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.